Yeah. Uh, look, I, I, um, it was going to be a tough match uh, from the very start. Uh, I've played Francis twice. We've split matches. Um, he, I had a really tough one with him in Atlanta, um, like a really tough match, and I knew it was going to be physical. He's a great athlete. Uh, to be honest with you, I've, I've probably a little bit under the weather. That happens throughout the year. Um, uh, you know, you, you don't wake up feeling amazing every day. So I thought it was really important to win that first set. So it was a bit, uh, <laughs> yeah, a bit annoying that I couldn't win the first one and that I knew if I was going to win, it was going to have to go the distance. But I, I used the crowd, used the energy of the place. You know, I, I, I love um, feeding off the crowd and feeding off the energy. Um, and especially you get to do that when you're in Australia, you know, that crowd's all the more vocal and it's, it's you know, it's, that's what it's about. So I um, managed to play really good, I thought, at the back end of that second set. Played some good tennis there and, and we, I thought it was a pretty high quality match for the spectator. I thought Francis did, was playing great tennis too. I mean, obviously, we all know how talented he is and, and just how bright his future is. So uh, really happy to get another match underneath my belt, a, a tight one like that, that gives you confidence moving forward and happy to extend my stay in Sydney. So under the weather, you cold? Yeah, yeah, look, probably a bit of man flu, but no, nah, look, I... um. Um, you know, just the throat, the, the nose pretty congested and, um, and just, you know, with that comes a bit of dizziness when you're trying to run around and, and it's pretty warm out there. When the cloud cover came, it wasn't so bad, but, you know, that happens. That's no uh, excuses if I'd lost. It's no excuse. I, when I take to the court, I take to the court to compete at 100% and, and I thought I could, so I'd go, I went out there and, and did so. Um, yeah, look, hopefully I'm, I'm right. I'm a bit better tomorrow, and hopefully I can build into this tournament and, and then obviously onto the Australian Open. But uh, to do a normal job, or not a normal job, um, but to do you know an everyday job where you don't have to be so physical, it'd probably be all right. But it's not ideal when you're playing those physical points and that. But you know, I've come and handled worse things before. Oh, look, I, I actually did talk to the team about, you know, like. Um, with me, it's it's a matter of you know I only want to and I've done that in the past. Um, I only want to really walk on the court if I, if I feel like I can compete at a hundred and um, went out to hit this morning and yeah look it wasn't it wasn't overly easy that's for sure and um, uh, look that's that's part and parcel of it and and it's uh, you know it's 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 one of those things that like I said um, everyday thing that you know, we've all had, but when you're competing at this high-end level, um, you need those little, you know, tennis is a game of fine margins. As you saw in that, there was only a few points in it. I think um, I might have won two or three more points than Francis at the end of the day, you know, so um, you need those fine margins. But look, uh, the opportunity to play in Australia for me is, is, is really important. Um, I love playing here. Um, I love playing in Brisbane. I love playing in Sydney. I love playing in Melbourne. We get Outside from Davis Cup, uh, you know, we get, we get three tournaments a year, that's it. Um, so you'd have to be a bit more to, to knock me out. That's what I came to the conclusion and, and uh, really happy I, I went out there and, and I just tried to leave it all out there. Even if I'd lost, I probably would have been pretty proud because I, I really did. I didn't have much left. Um, you know, I thought we both left it out there. And, and uh, like I said, I got a lot of respect for Francis. I think he's a top, top player. And, um, you know, he's lucky, he's young, and he's got a, a, a long, long future ahead of him, so I'll take this one. Yeah. Yeah, look, we played, I think, uh, on grass a while back. He's a, I think he's a great hardcore player, though. Um, great talent, great ball striker, really good forehand, just a clean hitter of the ball. Um, would have loved to have played James. Um, I trained with him in Brizzy. I think he's... You know, if he stays fit and healthy, he'll be back inside top 100. Uh, he's been there, he's done that. I've seen how hard Ducks has worked uh, to get back here and, and how many hurdles he's had to face. So I would have loved to have played him. Uh, just, uh, and it would have been, um, you know, we're good friends, so uh, that would have been really nice to um, have shared the court with him. But Martin's going to be tough. He's a really tough assignment. He's, uh, like I said, very clean ball striker, a great forehand, um, really solid backhand. Uh, can really you, you've got to really take the game to him. Otherwise, 
you know, he can dictate passage of play. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys that probably flies under the radar a bit, like like a, a lot of us do. Um, because obviously our, our sport's quite top end heavy and, and, you know, the big boys, as they should, they, they take the headlines a little bit. But Martin's a top, top player uh, and uh, he's going to be a really tough assignment here. Yeah, oh, I think it's a bit of a win win. Um, you know, that's how I approach. If I play a, a tournament a week before a slam, I think it's a win win. I think uh, if you can, if you can get matches, get wins, get points. I think that's great, you know. Um, when I step on court, I, I want to give 100%. I'd love nothing more than to go deep this week, really. Uh, um, I, I guess um, another time I went deep a week before a tournament was in Winston-Salem, where you actually play an extra match because it's a bigger draw. Uh, and I made semis that year uh, in really tough conditions, uh, hotter than this. Uh, I did lose first round, but I played against Domi team, and I, I thought I played a ripper match. I think it was a 6-3 or 6-4 in the fifth set. Um, so I don't think it's a bad thing. If, if my body's good, I feel as if, you know, getting, especially early on in the season, I think getting those matches underneath your belt, I think is actually quite good preparation. I, I like going into slams, even though maybe at the US I, I uh, went into it um, not winning anything. But I like going into slams, you know, with a few runs on the board. I, I'm a guy who likes to get out on the practice court. I want to get hours in on the practice court when my body allows. So there's no better way, especially early on in the season after having quite a, a long layoff, um, to, to get those, uh, you know, to, to get matches, to, to, to get that. There's no better practice. Trust me, I'd rather be here than in Melbourne too early. Yeah, yeah for sure.